Nanama's goal, that's the resolve of private legal practitioner Martin Kwebu as he announces all is set for a massive protest that could be reloaded in the next 24 hours. The outspoken critic of President Ekofuado says the wanton corruption and mismanagement give a clear indication that Ghanaians can no longer wait until the end of his four-year term. Lawyer Martin Kwebu says after tomorrow's protest, the president together with his vice ought to leave office in order to pave way for the constitutional provision for his replacement to be set in motion. Reckless borrowing and other forms of misgovernance by President Ekufuado. We are dying. Citizens are dying. Citizens can't afford food. Citizens are starving. All because of malgovernance by President Ekufuado. It's never happened that you have a president in office and every time that the country borrows, the president's family becomes richer. How? Every time the country borrows, the president's family becomes richer. How? This can't continue. It's not, Ghana doesn't belong to President Ekufuado's family. We can't borrow all the time and have data bank becoming richer all the time. The country becomes poorer and data bank becomes richer. This, without more, is sufficient for President Kufuado to resign. You see how the incentive to borrow because his family will become richer has led us to overborrow and today our city has totally collapsed. That now, when you need one dollar, you need at least 14 Ghana cities. When at the beginning of the year, one dollar was just six cities, 40 pesos. This has never happened. And so to that extent, based on Article 35 of our Constitution, which asks for probity, accountability, etc., which are also repeated in the preamble of the Constitution, citizens have a duty, a duty as stated in Article 41, to ask the president to resign. And this is not the first time that a president of Ghana is going to resign. In natural fact, in the 60s, Lieutenant General Ankara resigned over a matter of 6,000 Ghana cities that he's alleged to have used to bribe somebody organizing an opinion pool so that he can be declared as the most popular person in Ghana. You see, so ladies and gentlemen, where we are as of now in Ghana, the situation is so dire that the best thing is for President Kufado to take responsibility and to resign with his vice president, Dr. Mahmoud Baumia, Indeed, the Constitution has envisaged such a situation. That's why it's provided in Article 66 that the President may resign from office. The Vice President may resign as well. So Article 66 says that the President has to just simply give his resignation to the Speaker of Parliament. And so that's the same thing Dr. Mahmoud Baumia will do. The phantom economic waste scheme, right? And Article 60 Clause 13 makes it clear that when the President and the Vice are gone, the Speaker must take office for only three months. Ladies and gentlemen of the media, for only three months. And within that three months, the Electoral Commission must organize fresh elections. So it means that we will have a new president within the three months. That's to say that today, 4th November, if President Kufuado and uh, Dr. Mahmoud Baumia were to resign, it means that latest by 4th of February, a new president will be sworn in. So we would have had the elections in a new president sworn in. And look, people of Ghana, please, let's not despair. Let's go for it. Let Ikufuado and Baumia resign. Look, you will be amazed at how the international community will welcome this new development. That our democracy would have been strengthened. That the president would have listened to the cry of the masses and resigned. And as a result of this, you'll be amazed at how much goodwill we will gain. Our debt the new president can renegotiate for extension and all the other things that it will require. Trust me, when such a momentous event occurs, Meanwhile, well, security analyst Adib Sani has been given some security guidelines for tomorrow's event. Ladies and gentlemen, it is also important to note that it is not in our interest to have this protest getting mad by violence. Because in the end, uh, it would divert 
uh, opinions from the main crux of the matter to um, the violence and um, would ensure to the very best of our ability that um, it is peaceful. So I wish to appeal to all those attending to obey instructions. We need to use the routes. We are not supposed to use any other route beyond what has been agreed on. So we avoid situations where protesters might, you know, confront the police or vice versa. Let me also appeal that no one should come to the protest site with any offensive weapon, whether it is a sharp pointed object or even a gun. Do not bear arms. And that is extremely important because we are trying to avoid situations in which certain individuals will want the whole protest to be mad so it defeats the purpose for which we were even in the first place. Mm -hmm. We are also receiving information that there's a possibility that some bad nuts might try to infiltrate. So I wish to appeal to you to keep an eye on your brother. Let's be each other's keeper. If you see anything and to what, do not hesitate to reach out to the police or even the protest leaders. And if you are in a situation you neither can reach out to the protest leaders or the police, you can call the police line. It's 18555. 18555. And let's ensure that we don't have individuals infiltrating and marring uh, the whole event.